Ramsey is. Oh, that's. We don't. We don't really have Steves. I mean, we have Steves, but they're Steve's basically cool. people playing Steve because they're like, wait a minute, this character is stupid, yeah. and then they just play stupid Steve. I feel like Snake is a necessary evil to kind of exist in this game because when you go up to those high levels, right? There's Apollo Kage and all the other high level snakes. There's MVD. You know, that's like one of the biggest matchup checks in your life because this character is very scary. You know, he has really good zoning tools. He has really good pressure as well, especially when you're kind of up close. Look at that, not to mention that dare. Yeah, that dare is so safe. His damage output is also insane. That dare you just mentioned, what does it do, 20% or something like that? Yeah, and I believe it's like minus five or six on shield. Yeah, his moves are so good in a vacuum. The thing yeah. is that he doesn't necessarily have the best approach options. Right now, that's not a problem for him, though. He's been consistently getting the damage on Jen. The onus is for him to... Ooh. That was so good! That's, that's what I like to call an OS. Don't. You, refl you commit to the reflect on the up smash, but you're still getting trapped by the Cypher. Put and, it in that work. Yeah, and Bobo has been at this nice percent for like a minute now. That was really scary, but Jed choosing the right option. <laughs> that was so good, though. Did you notice that was the only thing he could do? If he went, yes. if he went to the right, he would have gotten hit by the uh, the C4. If he went left, got gotten things. If he did get up attack, he would have detonated the, the grenade. That was so good awareness of him that he only had one proper That's option. decision making, we know. But however, Bobo reading the roll on out is getting that damage up, and this is a Jen's kind of trying to time to kind of get this lead trap situation going on. And I'm there we go, busting out the air dodge though, not able to get that back air off. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the movement from Bobo also. Oh, did you see the spacing? That was so good. You know when you're facing a top player snake, they hit you with the spacing, you know. I kind of like get a little scared, you know, it's that fear, but air dodging into the arms of Palu is finally going to be taking this stock, but against Snake, you know, he can evaporate stocks like it's nothing off the grenades. That damage, it slowly builds and eats away at you, you know, you might be getting put in a chokehold before you know it. Yeah, that's the thing. There is that sort of magic percent threshold, which he's not going to get to even close. These C4s, that's the second C4 kill. Honestly, we as commentators need to start updating people with PSAs. It's it's 444 on the I know clock. you're all for Do that. Do you know where you're the C4 for is? That. And it's right down in the middle. Keep your eyes, boys and girls, and others out there. Yep, okay, right on the light of the Pokeball. And the thing is that once he does that, you notice that Bobo tries to bring the opponent to the C4 so that he can do something with it, so that yes. it can be incorporated into his trap play. But good stuff from Jen. That's the sort of thing that Halo can do, regardless of. Yeah, Jen calling on that high on approach is taking that stock. However, you know, you have this percent lead up on you against Snake, but Nair trained to the corner. Top it off with the up There you go. Grenade combo breaking out. Oh, did you see that? Throws a grenade in each. Crouches right before the auto radical connects. Let's get on out of here. And try to ladder up with the explosive flame as well. And almost air dodging into the arms of the Palu. Jen suddenly taking control of this game. And Ooh. he knew! He knew the air dodge it was coming. But unfortunately, Bobo is able to come back onto the stage. But this is your one last chance. It's it's funny. We're seeing certain moves really work out and some moves not. Did he sticky him? No. Is the movement still? looking crisp though. Oh, the grenade's on the top, or the C4 is on the top left right now. Okay. There's no sticky to be had. All right, this is really scary, though. That was good. Stuck on that platform. Oh, oh the sticky! sticky! Oh, no, this is so scary for Jen. He has to play so Ow! smart. Ow! And the C4, you know, it is out of the way, though. But you just can't get grabbed by Snake at this point. Oh, uh, he, can, he can afford to get grabbed by Snake, like, once right yeah, here. Yeah, maybe with a little forward throw, a little edge guard setup. But this is kind of a really patient scramble right now. And, ooh, Stanky Lake in a little too early, unfortunately. Yeah, I want to just say, I love the fact that Bobo had not showcased the up tilt for almost the entirety of that last stock. He yeah. knows that it is, the opponent will play around it if they see it. He's kind of hoping, well, let's see, Jen might yeah. start forgetting I'm going through like I'm going in and punishing him for holding that shield on the platform card, that's know? like that well, it's not only that but like think about the play he was doing leading up to that punishing him for holding shield and he was really expecting that up tilt to finally catch him but didn't quite and I think that it's also very interesting that there were certain moves used from each player that were just being answered consistently every time from Jen it was the down tilt the amount of times that Bobo just barely outspaced down tilt and was able to get a dash attack a dash grab something like that it was 
it was meaningful, and at the same time, Bobo going for these very close to the ground air dodges, I don't think they've really worked out once so far. Jen is always there to punish them just by holding the shield and reacting. Yeah, and Jen, you know, looking very dominant. I know the snakes, they love the Smashy build. They love the towns, or they love the Animal Crossings, right? Because they have that huge center platform to kind of just work with the grenade setups, the Cypher as well to kind of control the field. But you know, this is Paulo's zone. She got those combos to work of, and she is currently controlling that space very, very fine. Yeah, and I think that Jen's plan right now, oh my god, uh, is keep him at the ledge. This is something that he was kind of doing in the last game, but not nearly as effective as we're seeing right now. Yeah. And again, air dodging directly mm -hmm. close to the ground, got punished immediately. That's what you want. That's what you want against Palu. You know, Bobo has been yielding these air dodges, but, you know, He's going to have to start logging it down, pulling up a bit for that disadvantage. Maybe he has to take a hit a few times because Jen is catching on to that, but he is forcing All Robo right. into the corner, but yes. I think that was a good mix-up at least where he went for the back air, definitely. Jen has been expecting him to go for those air dodges in that situation, but yeah. the thing is that if he just holds shield, it answers both of those still, so. Oh. oh. See, waiting. I, He's waiting. I, I'm, I'm, why does he keep going for them? Because, look, you're Snake, right? And I'm getting pressured by Paulu. I want to get out immediately. I want to get out of this situation. I'm getting Wombo comboed. I'm take, getting taken on a tra train to the town in the city. But right now, we're in the village. I know? feel like sometimes, oh boy, oh boy, yeah. yeah. I feel like sometimes there's almost this problem of like instant gratification of invincibility. As in you're like, this move is invincible and therefore it, I feel safe when I do it. Uh, but don't forget that every thing that gives you invincibility this game, you pay the cost later. Yeah, it can't um, be getting too comfortable. And for at least some, not less so for like good, good players, but especially at lower levels, that can actually be a problem in the psychology of it, that you want to roll in those scary situations because you just want the invincibility as quickly as possible. Yeah, and Jen holding it down in the center, but Bobo hold up, coming out swinging with that back here. Get in the parry game, but nothing off it, but running back. Oh, the slide off? Okay. We're still escaping. We're still in this. Yeah, definitely just not out of the... Bobo is not out of it. He's 127%. If he lands an up tilt, pretty sure we'll kill right about now. Um, oh, the last hit of down tilt. Oh. Yeah, and you gave the high to Jen, and that's going to be your game, too. And, and Look at that. Before, remember how at the end of the first game I said, air dodge to the ground, getting punished for Bobo. Those down tilts from Jen are getting punished. This time around, the air dodge into the ground from Bobo, getting punished even harder. Forward smashes, also getting killed for it, you know? Yeah. And now Jen's landing down tilts. I he landed like three down bro, tilts right there. Jen? The advantage that Bobo had playing, like his micro spacing, is definitely feeling off as opposed to that game one. Yeah, and Jen all night. Literally everybody who he's faced has been giving them those air dodges. So he's like, I'm just getting free training out here, free stocks. You can't give Paul Tana these air dodges because they're going to be looking for that. That's a committal option, and they're just going to get be getting free combos and you're going to be putting yourself into disadvantage so much. You're going to be getting trapped there because Jen's caliber of ledge trapping is one of the best in the biz. Oh, holding that grenade. Yeah, he has to hold shield and wait for it to detonate before he can get anything started. Ah, uh -huh, and we're already quick off to the races. 114 on the board for Bobo. Good air dodge through the auto vehicle, though. He's going to be hanging on, trying to set up himself at the ledge for Palu. Oh, no! He got the catch on. I, I like this also. Change in strategy from the ledge, from like the ledge guarding. Instead, Bobo really just <gasps> focusing on the. Oh, all oh. right. Microspacing is back. Oh. Microspacing is back. We're good, folks. Oh, they're game. All right. Crouching that jab as well. So beautiful. And making the use, good usage of the crouch as well to kind of just low profile a back air or an arrow that air Jen is kind of throwing his way. Yeah. And there's that dash attack. Call him out, trying to put him back in the corner. But it's hollow teleport, you know? You got that maneuverability to just go all around and hang and low for that back. And that was like max distance on the upbeat. Knew exactly how far he could go down there, and he got just threaded that and needle. Beautiful and stuff, and oh, look at this. Welcome to Mix City, man. Gonna be catching so many of these Paul Lunares and these up airs. And Bobo, you see, he, he wants out. <laughs> he, he wants out. Yep. Oh, good job. That's something we haven't really seen a lot from Jen, just running straight in. Because Bobo's not really using a lot of things to wall him out at those closer ranges. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, trying to end it all. There's that back throw, setting up for the... Oh no, forward throw this time around. Trying to catch him with a bit of a mix-up. And up tilt not killing, but he's lapped him in oh, percent. He's lapped yeah. him in stock count. This is three to one. This it's is looking real rough for Bobo. Yeah, and that was so good from Jen because he's just simply existing and hovering around in that space. And Bobo's already going to feel like an up air coming his way. So it's kind of just a free back air. But much like that down throw, he's going to be getting a free stock because at 160, you know, above that, you're kind of just done from the snake. Get that damage on him, build that chip damage because you do have the lead. You can't get the stock off from Bobo in the dash attack. Catching the back dash. Ooh, the air dodge through the F smash. That is so good. And Bobo you know, struggling to kind of get back in this game, but crouching through the explosive flame. I like it. And challenging Jen this time around, committing to these auto radicals and the explosive flames. Okay, yeah, that's another one of those back airs. 140. Ooh, okay. Coming and swinging just a little bit. And hit him with the stanky leg. All, All right. right, taking the cloud nine. 140% though. And this is Palu. There are so many moves that she has that can kill. We're going to need some explosive stock. We're not even going to get even a chance to see it. Nah, Good stuff out. from Jen. 3-0, kind of sweeping Bobo out of the tournament. Moving on in the loser's bracket. Bobo out at fifth? Yeah, that okay. was... um. It's a pretty solid run here at the month. You know, uh, let's see. What, what's the bracket run look like? Because we're basically like all in losers, right? I'm trying to see what is winner finals. I think it's. Oh, Gaga, Gaga Gatsby winner finals. Oh. Yeah. I like that. I think that's happening next, I want to say. Um, are we. We just hit loser semis, so yeah, I think that would be the next match. Yeah, Bobo had to take it 3 2 over power. Uh, 